All right. Let's see what we got in Tucson to pick up. Dry milk, nah. Went a longer run than that. Dallas. So maybe we could do a run in Dallas. I'd be okay with that. Pike some nuts. What's up, Florida boy? How you doing? Firestorm, hello. Pure Bronx kid. What's up? What up? Uh, potatoes to Fresno, California. That might be bad, but it's California. And it gets a little slow. Fort Collins. Do the whole travel up uh, that. And there's Brownsville, Texas as well. Hmm. It's just empty pallets though. So, I think we're just gonna do the nuts. The 39,309 to Dallas. Let's do that. No works for me. I'm doing just fine. How you doing? Steel Force 205, think of the 10 months. Good to see you. Howdy. Troy Baines in the house, 36 months. What's up, brother? Good to see you. So we got the wonderful Freightliner, and we've got the Detroit diesel engine in this thing. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Tom H. 2112. Thank you for the 30 months. Good to see you, brother. Glad you enjoy the ATS stuff. Oh, yeah. What's up, Foley? How you doing, man? All right. Time to get on our way to where we're going. To go pick up around the corner. So let's go ahead and do it. You like the Freightliners? Yeah, they're good, man. They're good trucks. Be just fine going out this way. Yep, making a right turn here. We're in Tucson, Arizona. Mr. Mecca, what's up? How you doing? We've got some trucks coming. Right. We're going to use this suicide lane here to help us get the trailer out. There we go. Just like that. Not a problem. I'll make the right turn up here. I'm doing good. Doing good. I enjoyed uh, driving the Pete yesterday. Uh, that was it's a good time. That Cummins N14 in it. Looks like we're picking up at Walmart. 13th Street here. Uh, Mr. Mecca, yeah, usually. Like yesterday, I, I recorded that yesterday. I'm using Creech Bombs. Uh, Detroit Diesel engine sound set. But I have not checked out Slob Jerry's. I know that he makes good stuff. I just haven't downloaded it. Yeah, one day they'll get there. How are our audio levels for you guys? You guys hear the music okay? Hear the truck okay? We'll hear the music more when I roll the windows up. Oh, we're just enjoying the, you know, it's a nice, nice day right now. It's not nighttime. We're just enjoying. Across the tracks. And we're here at Walmart, man. Yep. 
We're turning left here. We'll see where they want us to drop the trailer. Right here, actually. So here we are. Audio's great. Sweet. Cargo market. We're taking these nuts to Dallas. Be a long drive, but that's okay. Take the job. Going to Echo's power there. I was getting, you know how I was getting those game crashes. I found out what was causing it. Um, I had an outdated version of the real company's mod and trailers pack. So I just updated that and it fixed it. Back on the right, it looks like we have room to actually do a 360. So I think we're going to do that. No, oh, it's back here in the corner. Oh, well, that's simple enough. Should be. See how good we can do it here. Strike the trailer all the way around. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen the sky so blue. Yeah, I'll pull up a little bit closer to the fence on the right here. There we go. Doesn't matter what we do. Ain't nobody like you. Ain't nobody like you. You look so beautiful. And I'm so lucky to be yours. Can you take it? Straighten it out a little bit here. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody like you. This way. About right there. There we go. Killed the engine. Ryan W2332, think of the five months. Good to see you. How you doing? So lucky to be yours. Can you take me Loading that cargo up. Like Great song for trucking around. Oh, you better believe it. Uh, na, 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 na. Sosa, the dude. What's up? How you doing? Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Uh, I haven't been doing convoys, man, because uh, everybody has to have the same mods, and it's an absolute nightmare to keep up with. I like to have a... I run a ton of mods, and people don't run that many mods, usually. Uh, and some of them are payware and all that stuff, so it's just kind of... It's not ideal. I, I really wish... I, I don't understand why they have it set up the way they do sometimes. I really wish we could just have a convoy, and it would just show trucks in the road. Instead of everybody having the exact same mods, but it is what it is. I can't make the turn yet. I gotta wait for this car. Yeah, this is the new uh, 2020, what, three Cascadia with the, or 2022 with the new screens. Yeah, we're good. We have some plans for the iRacing stuff soon. You know what? Let's get a picture here. I'd rather we get pictures uh, when we're in the, uh, you know, these spots here. 
It's a good looking livery. I do like it a lot. Good livery, good truck. Skybox, not so much. Do the cloud one. That is nice. Nice looking truck. It's my favorite truck brand, Peterbilt. They're my favorite ones. I've just always had a thing in my heart for the Peterbilt 379, and it's still the case today. Got the motion platform V3 going today, so you'll see me get bounced around in the truck somewhat. Hey, wizard, I'm doing just fine. How you doing? Well, the motion rig and ice racing was it was uh, awesome. When I would, did the truck series, I did it, and it was uh, pretty neat. Comes a train. wrapped up a FedEx flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Nice. What airplane? better to use the steering wheel to play NASCAR ignition than a controller. It's better to just not even play that game. Gold Wolf, what's up? How you doing? Paints for trucks, nice. Having troubles uploading it? Really? causing that. Uh, we're using the GP uh, logistics, JD, off of the Steam Workshop. You get the uh, tr you get the paint for the Freightliner, and you also get one for the uh, the trailer. Pretty neat. Not bad. Yeah, we're driving an automatic transmission today. Most of the fleet trucks, that's how they are set up these days, man. way to Dallas, Texas from Tucson, Arizona. We got rain ahead for sure. Put the panel to the middle. You got it. The technology for, you know, internet is a lot different these days. It's 
not even good internet, honestly. It's pretty crappy. But it works. These dummies in the right lane, dude. We're getting over. So thank you to that guy. This truck up here with all the... At least the Walgreens double that's causing the back up here, it looks like. My thoughts about ignition? Well, I said them a while ago, but still stand by it. It's... It's a junk game, man. I really wanted it to be good, and we had a meeting, and you know, we gave our opinions about it. It could have been something good if they would have worked on it, but they, we just they, they lied to everybody, and it's not worth a not worth a thing, man. I I just don't play it. I'm not gonna put myself through that. Joe Strickland, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing good. Watch over those Amazon Prime owner operators. <laughs> Why that? Let's see where we're at on the map. We're on uh, Interstate 10 eastbound right now out of Tucson. Almost to San Simone. This game is lovely to play, man. It's a good, uh, good relaxing game. Kenworth 100. I'm not. I'm not big into the uh, cab overs. I think they're cool trucks, but. I'm just not into them. Never have been. Yeah, this Creech Bomb Detroit Diesel sounds amazing. Uh, no, they don't have flat tires in this game. That'd be cool if they had something like that. Maybe they'll do that later down the road, but not currently in the game. Simone, next two exits. Ooh, got coppers up here in the middle. Shooting some radar. There's that train. I don't think it's the same one. It might be, though. Just caught up to it. Infinite, what's up? Good evening to you. How you doing on this wonderful... Uh, Tuesday on your Tuesday. DHL. This guy doing. We got some uh, way stations coming up here, so we don't need to get in the left lane anytime soon. Overheating the engine. I mean, if you damage the truck, you can, uh, you know, get into those situations in the game, but it's not something you normally run into. Uh, JD Spurs. I, I, I mean, you know, if I'm if I if I'm gonna play Euro Truck, then yeah, I'll, I don't have a problem with that. I just don't. I'm not a big fan of cab over trucks in America. Which, there's a reason why they're not on the roads anymore. That is, it's not a thing over here. JL Stoke, good to see you. How you doing? 
Thank you for the 62 months. I can barely hear the uh, horn on this thing. <laughs> hey, look at that. We made it to New Mexico. It's the state line. Dust storms may exist. Zero visibility possible. Claire and Foam are doing just fine. How are you doing tonight? Good to see you. Got my astronaut in here as usual. When I drive the default trucks, that's what I usually have in here. Hey, we get to bypass it. Nice. about to find out uh, I'm not on 147 I'm still on 1.46 I, I haven't been wanting to go through and re replace a lot of I got to update a lot of different mods for 147 and I just haven't done it yet so I'm still rolling on 146 here and it looks good setup for ATS? No. This is the same one I've had. Unless you haven't seen it, Marco. But yeah, it's a whole I've got a whole dedicated ATS rig now. So it's the next level racing GT Elite uh, cockpit. And then I got the Thrustmaster T818 direct drive wheel. And the motion platform B3 is on this thing, so I still get motion platform throws me around but yeah ATS looking good man looking real good the only thing I did was I just slightly desaturated the game using the Nvidia in-game overlay controls just slightly desaturated it and bumped the shadows up a little bit too I like the shadows to be a little darker Showers. Showers. The stop and fuel up here. I don't know what the fuel situation's like getting into Dallas, but or into Texas. But I know if we fuel up now, we won't have to for a while before we're in nightfall. I'd rather fuel up during the night, you know, or during the day. But I also use uh, Project Next Gen. Got a cattle guard here. Check it out. Hey Brady, what's up? Yeah, the uh, ads are, you know, not anything I can control. I don't have any of them turned on for me. Or like during the stream, it's just the, the first one. is nothing I can do about it, it's part of Twitch. All right, this has got a nice, nice fuel island here, look at this. Truck stop tour, 122.
right. Here we are. Time to fuel it up. I'll tell you how much it costs. Cost four hundred one dollars. We got eighty gallons, so not terrible. Take a second here to say hello to some people. When will they add Iowa? I'm sure they will soon enough. Jail Stoke, thank you for gifting the subscriptions to Dark Dodger and Rich Rich. Appreciate it. Brady, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Why would I understand what that means? Fear me, what's up? Weston, hello to you. Pat's Matt, what's up? From Maryland, very cool. Yeah, we're having a, f a chill vibe, you know, not gear jamming or anything today. We're just doing some uh, easy stuff. the state DLCs. <laughs> See how much this actually weighs. We are gross of seventy five seven seven six. this way too it's a big dirt field out here it's cool this is a neat neat truck stop glad we stopped here very easy to get in and out of those drop trailers rag yeah for the dropping the transfers there Indian Jones, what's up? Good to see you. Glad you made it to a stream. Great Ark Wolf, I am doing just fine. How you doing tonight? Good to see you. Glad you made it in. Here 
we go. On the road again. I'm using Project Next Gen. It is a cheaper option, and I've just I've really grown to love it more. Nothing against the JBX. I, I like them both. But I really like the PBR roads, and I like the colors. The skybox is good. So that's what we're rolling with here today. Are the hospital for your fusion therapy tomorrow? I hope you're doing all right. Everything's good, Big T. How's everything there? You doing all right? Oh, damn. I know you had a amputation. That sucks. Glad to hear it, Big T. Glad to hear it. Where are we trucking? Uh, we are currently out of San Simone right now. We're on our way to Dallas out of Tucson. That's where we were originally going, but we're outside of Las Cruces now. There you go. See on the map. Zone. We haven't even gotten up to that speed yet, so it's not even a problem. Well, truth to consequences. Yep, we're going to Dallas. We have about 35,000 pounds of nuts. It's gonna be evening time, so we're starting to get that, uh, starting to hit some of that traffic, the rush hour traffic, so we're gonna be ready for it. A New Mexico trooper there. Hey, Jeremy. Miss ATS, waiting, saving for new wheel pedals. Oh, gotcha. Weston, happy early birthday to you. It's the Rio Grand. I got you, Nug. They're already they're always adding new DLCs. The next one's going to be, uh, we got Oklahoma. It's going to be a neat one. Try not to speed through here. Trooper right there on our right. You can see him in our our little corner mirror. I totally get it, Jeremy. A, the cheapest wheel you can get. I mean, if you don't want to spend very much money at all, you have the Thrustmaster T128. I have yet to use that. I have it here, but I just haven't made a video on it. It's the cheapest wheel they make. Ryan USAF, what's up? How you doing? New Mexico, land of enchantment. We're leaving New Mexico. 
welcome to Texas, everybody. So that trooper is out of uh, their jurisdiction now. Yeah, welcome to Texas. But yeah, I'm not a, a wheel guru when it comes to uh, hardware. There's too many uh, factors at play, you know? It's It depends on what you want versus how much money you want to spend on it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Flared Foamer, I fixed those those drops I was getting, man. We get a couple stutters here and there, but nothing like it was. It was a V-Sync issue, which is strange. Uh, basically, America Truck Sim does not like anything over 60 frames per second. So even a monitor that uh, you know is capable of that, like this one was, uh, it was just causing major hitching issues by having too high of uh, a setting. Get over in the right lane here. I see no car there. We're good. In El Paso, Texas. Yeah, because remember, it used to stutter like crazy through here. And it doesn't do that anymore, which is nice. And I'm even using the... Uh, I'm even using the whole... You know, SIPS traffic mod, density mod. And I mean, other than it getting stuck in memory after about an hour and you can clear it out... Um, by reloading the game or, you know, unchecking V-Sync and turn it back on or whatever, but by resetting the traffic, you're good. Hasn't been a problem. Yeah, Flared Foamer, if you have a, if your monitor is above 60 hertz, make sure you check that the game is running at 59 hertz and that you're forcing the game uh, it's a lock at 59 hertz as well. Am I going to Wings Over Wayne Air Show in North Carolina? No, I am not. I will be in Houston for Flight Sim Expo. And that's uh, the weekend of the 26th in June. There's Swift. Keys in the box, they real keys? Yeah, they are. These right here. They are indeed. I believe this is only like a 450 horsepower engine. It's not very strong. Left. Steve Carroll, what's up? How you doing? We're just outside of El Paso on our way to Dallas. We left Tucson, Arizona. That's where we're at currently. A little, little horse trailer or something on the back of that car. That was that was interesting looking. It was cool. No, I don't uh, don't have any plans to go to Australia anytime soon. Love to go someday, but I don't have any plans for it as of now. GP Logistics is a company that has this truck. It's just what we, what we got going here. See, it's a fleet truck.
challenge here so you can see it. The problem with the eight key is they never, there we go. Get a front, front shot there. Pretty cool. Are they the fall trailer wheels? No. No, they're part of one of the Smarties wheel packs. That's never been my name, Beer Me. It's never, never been a call sign of mine ever. The DeLorean, that's cool looking. What does GP mean? I don't know, man. Google them. It's a real trucking company. all the birds up there circling something out there something, something dead I don't know it's just dead <laughs> gold wolf you're uh oh nice trucking in uh Houston Inspection station. Let's see. Nope, it's closed. We've gotten lucky today. Haven't had to stop at anything yet. We're doing all right, I'd say. Man, this game looks so good with all these mods. It really does. Sometimes it's hard to believe it's a game. <laughs> It's funny, the other day I was going down the highway and uh, I saw there was a uh, one of the police cars for Maryland Heights in St. Louis. Uh, they had they had a unit 127 and that was on the uh, on the license plate. I couldn't get a picture of it because I didn't want to pull my phone out and take a picture of a police car while I'm driving on the highway. I don't think they would have enjoyed that, but it was pretty cool to see. Grand for the geek. Good to see you. Thank you for the 35 months, as always. Drive for Walmart out of Temple, Texas. Nice. Zwaggy. Coming through Van Horn right now. hotel that's cool I only do a video on my mods if I change them out nothing's changed I'm using the same mods I was using before uh, I, if I do showcase that stuff it's at the very end of a video uh, end of American Truck Sim videos. I can't remember the last one I did that I had it in it, but I, you can only do it so many times. You got one toy set up there for your local sheriffs. That's I knew it was an older explorer. I need to pay attention to the road here. We got a whole bunch of new cars here. Oh, I got you. That's cool. Look at that skybox. That looks beautiful. Very pleasant, chill drive so far, man. I gotta say, very, very happy with it. When you get this sim right where you want it, man, it's wonderful. Slow down, y'all ready in Texas.
Driving into the night. Sunset. Oh, I'll have to get over. Too busy looking at the sunset. Almost missed my exit. It happens. It does look good. We got uh, 35 or 36,000 pounds of nuts. We left Tucson and now we're headed to uh, Dallas, Texas. I think we'll make Dallas on this tank of gas. Fuel, diesel, whatever you want to call it. Picos, Texas. Welcome to Picos. Texas mural there looks cool. Another big truck stop right there. slow if you ask me those clouds nice clear night yeah it was a cool sunset how you doing Kyle D trucker what you what you been up to I use OBS for my streams. Let me go to the outside view for this part. So we'll see the truck in action. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. All right, we passed our inspection. Look at that. B9Bot, thank you for the 48 months. Good to see you. Nice stream 
Nice live stream of ATS. What's up? Thank you very much. Yeah, I have no interest in triple monitors because when you use track IR, it becomes kind of unnecessary. back up to speed now. Give me a long, long bit of that. We got a, quite a bit of weight on us here. Uh, I have no interest in Toby Eye Tracker. Kind of just, I don't know. Don't have any anywhere good to mount it, honestly because it has to be on the bottom and I have the wheel right in front of where that would actually mount. I mean, it'd be cool to not have to wear a track IR. And I've seen I've seen some mixed things, but I you know, I used the Toby Eye Tracker a long time ago, 2015. The like first one, and it was I'm sure the new one's much better. Yeah, it's a 48 inch monitor with uh, track IR. You can't can't go wrong with that setup. I love the uh, setup so much, that's what I ended up getting for the flight sim. Hello there, Odessa. This monitor is an Aorus, uh, I forget what they call it, a FO48 something. FOU48. It's a badass monitor. I love it. What track IR? Uh, track IR version 5 from 2012. I've had this thing since 2012. No joke. Actually, it's two, 2011. Got it before 2012. It's before I was streaming or uh, doing any YouTube or anything. What's up? Oh, we're just doing some chill trucking tonight. What you up to? I caught up with the NASCAR race. I just, I didn't watch it. I had too much going on this weekend. Went and uh, saw Tenacious D last night, uh, and the opening band was Steel Beans. And if you don't know who Steel Beans is, you should look it up. Uh, it's a guy that uh, plays guitar and drums and keyboard, but he does it all at the same time. It's insane to see. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Pretty good time now. And 
just as I thought. I don't think we're going to have to stop for fuel. I think we'll make it to Dallas on this, no problem. A little section there. that guy. Stink Creek Road coming up next. Don't have any interest in stopping and checking out Stink Creek. Speed, man, we've been just cruising down this section of the road. Like nobody on the roads right now. It's nice. is Fort Worth, which is 191 miles. And we'll see how long it takes on on diesel. Texarkana. It's strange. I thought they would have put it in there, but I think they're waiting, waiting for uh, Arkansas. What does that mean? Grand Prix? I don't understand the question there, Jim. Yeah, wild storms over Kansas today. I was watching those. Been a pretty crazy one on Sunday, just uh, north west of St. Louis. Puts out an insane tornado. Big wedge tornado, but the storm itself, I've never seen the amount of lightning that, that thing was producing. Pretty insane. 
And then yesterday there was gorilla hail that came through uh, out in, um, out like near Sullivan, Missouri. And it was massive gorilla hail, like the size of your fist. It was nuts. Yeah, Weston, but I'm pretty sure they're waiting for Arkansas to be finished before they put Texarkana in. Because it's so far on the edge. There's no way they're not going to do that thing justice, you know. It's a very iconic city. Not Jim Lewis. the truck I love the colors of uh, these GP logistics trucks when I saw in this team workshop I was like yep I want to do that for my next fleet truck but then I figured you know it'd be fun to do a live stream with it instead of a video some people don't like fleet truck driving but it's fun to do in a stream setup you know. Hey, Captain Nemo. What's up? I thought we were in a work zone, but nope, just kidding. Bob Tam, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How you doing today? What's up, Max? It's a good-looking ambulance rig there, man. Look at that. Well, thank you for asking. So we're going right, staying on Interstate 20. Big bump in the road. Hello. Dang, dude. Looked over at the chat and I missed that little, that was like a little jot to the right in the road. I'm just going to stay in this lane for now since we got to exit anyway. No sense to try to pass this guy. Brazos River. The cool looking uh, bridge there. I like that. Hey, modded. What's up, dude? Love the fleet style of its streams. Yeah, I like them too. It's just something different. I mean, like I like driving the big Peterbilts and you know jamming gears, like the rest of them. But sometimes it's nice just to chill. We're going Dallas, Shreveport. And there's no denying the GP logistics trucks look so good. That's why I went with them today. J shot, what's up? How you doing? All over the world. You know, we were pretty much at that point. We were. We were indeed. 
Yeah, the hum of the engines is what does it for me, too. Uh, I do not play X-Plane 11. No. No plans for X-Plane 11 or 12 to ever enter my PC again. Hopefully, X-Plane 13 will do something different. I just don't have any interest in it. I love Microsoft Flight Simulator too much. Speeding up on me now. You jackwad. You're a jerk. You're an actual jerk. What a buffoon. First gaming system I ever had? Uh, Nintendo? NES? Let's listen to this awesome Detroit Diesel. Left. And then turn left. Yeah, I was explaining with the, the convoy thing, I just, I run too many mods. You guys can't keep up with it. Like I, I know you can't keep up with it. I've, I've seen people asking me all the time for the simplest mods they don't even have installed, and it's like y'all can't keep up with the amount I have in here, <laughs> and it would be almost impossible to, to do that. I mean, he was an organic jerk, and there he is, getting back on the highway going that way. Really? What an idiot. What can I say? Okay, we're in F Mountain Creek. Just outside of Dallas, Texas here. So we're dropping up here on the left of this distribution center. Driver's lost, all right. But yeah, I mean, maybe I'll be able to make a, another profile with the bare minimum mods that I can share with everybody to do Cotton Boys again. I mean, they're fun for sometimes, but sometimes people are just not with it. You know what I mean? Like, they don't know proper spacing. They never wait for anybody. It's just, it's not worth the hassle. I'd rather just have a select couple of friends or something and play with than, you know, just having that. And then sometimes people talk on the radio too much. It, it, it can be a lot to, to host a convoy. All right, we're stopping here. Yeah, some people haven't figured out the only reason why I do pre-trips on my America Truck Sim videos is because it's an excuse to showcase the truck itself and the way it looks. What are we dropping here? Yeah, we're going to Echo's Power. So it's over here on the left. Oh, it's this drop. The stupid forklift again. Oh, this one's stupid.
You can free drive anywhere you want. Nothing's gonna stop you. That forklift. Let's get out and look. That's why you get out and look. Your face. Nur, 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 nur. You can go out. I cut a car a little harder. Let's check it right there. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're in there now. Absolutely, Mike. Bumping, bumping docks tonight, man. See we bump it. Let us bump. Yeah, they let us bump it. Not too bad at all. 937 miles, 17 hours, 34 minutes, 158 gallons of fuel consumed. Where are we going next? Let's see if they have any options for us. They uh, they do. Houston, I'd like to go up north. We do Lubbock. Yeah, let's do uh, grain to Lubbock. It's a uh, got a skedaddle load so no wasting time let's get going brave brave No wasting time on this run. It's uh, one of those expi expedited shipping ones. All right. Weldon TM, thank you so much for the four months. Appreciate it. Really, they're gonna play Brave twice? Never does that. It's the instrumental version, but still. It's on a, you know, shuffle. That's okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, they load us pretty quick, man. Considering it's uh, 5.49 a.m. We're getting out of here before the daybreak. And we're probably going to miss most of the uh, traffic getting out of Dallas here. I came to a complete stop. I don't even want to hear it, game. They're kind of stupid about you making rights on reds still. Yeah, you can damage your trailer and stuff if you're if you're not uh, careful with it. Yeah, you can see the sun coming up behind us now. This thing's got some weight on it. Let's roll our windows up. Let's get this thing up to speed. We should have enough fuel we don't have to stop because we don't want to have to stop fuel on this one at all since it's a shorter run we're going north to lubbock now we just loaded up grain we got a bunch of grain on board here we got uh is it f6 yep grain we got 44,655. so our gross is gonna be pretty high Supposed to get there Monday 3:18 p.m. to Monday 4:48. So it's Monday now. We just, we have to make it there between 3:18 and 4:48. No messing around. Why are my wipers not working? aren't doing anything there we go a little bit of rain no I don't do the fatigue simulation It detracts from the actual experience of driving over the road. It makes you feel like you're just getting off at the next place, sleeping, driving for a while, getting off and sleeping, fueling, and it's like you're, you're getting off the highway more than you are actually driving on it. That's the only reason why I don't do fatigue simulation. Morning rush hour in the rain, and we're slamming brakes already, baby. You better believe it. Guess this lane's gonna end. Yep, it does. Need to get over. Brazos River again. Saw that last night. Those bridges are all lit up. Looked good. zone yeah the rain physics and the rain are awesome so we're getting out of the rain right now though
Noto's Trucker, what's up, Jeff? How you doing? Yeah, they do uh, Steam sales all the time on American Truck Sim. You can get DLC bundles, too. from 5M. I hear you there. I love to do that, but PFC Taylor, what's up? 17 months. Flight attendant life is going well. Tomorrow is day four of a four-day trip. Nice. Glad to hear it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oldsmobile Arlero. So Abilene, we stay. Yeah, we need to get off the highway up here. So it's not even worth even trying to get around these cars at all. We're just getting that morning rush hour right now. ATS. need to get through the main interchange and go north. Why would a cow cross the road? I don't know. Ready for a world flight, man. We've been putting in so much training. We're going to be really prepared this year. Quick turns, man. We've been training nonstop. joke. tight turn. I 
It's a toy one. You delved into your inbox, turns out in 2018 you got ATS bundle including New Mexico for 10 bucks. There you go. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. This game's been around for a while, so yeah, they have sales on them a lot. Still making good time. Yeah, you can always download a car car mod or truck and just go driving around the, the map. It's fun. We do it all the time. The rain is moving out. Put the wipers away. Turn the wipers off. They will not turn off. Why? <laughs> Good God, man. Turn off the wipers. I thought they just had what they don't have wiper mode what the hell is that about all right mike you take care take care of yourself we'll see you what the hell's wrong with these wipers today i don't get it man that makes no sense Hit P. And we get him to turn off here. They will not shut off. P does nothing. You have to have like a back button now on it? It was never the case. I've never seen this before. I've never had this problem before. Guys, I, I know. I know how the wipers work. I understand. It's not doing it, as you can see, clearly. What is wipers back? That's never been a thing. I was hitting P the entire time. It doesn't do anything. Let's try this again, maybe. I think because it needs a wiper's back. I'm going to make that an NA. Do an unassigned for wiper's back. I think that's the problem. I think that accidentally got selected. And that's causing that to happen. Yep, that's all it was. Turns out I've played this game stupid amount of hours. I understand how it works. Appreciate the help. But it was because the uh, I have my turn signal V3 set up over here, but for some reason I've been trying to get into the uh, into the documents uh, on the the controllers and all that stuff to try to get it to work, but I cannot get more than five devices to work, which is really frustrating for my setup. So I haven't figured that one out yet. We need to get in the left lane here. We come over here, Sunfire, you're gonna be a jerk. Yeah, I'm gonna force my way over because you're not gonna let us over. Thank you. What are you doing, truck? Holy moly. Bugzilla, glad to see ya. Glad you're okay and had no clue. Sure not, car accident. Rift's way, way, what's up? How you doing? Watch out for this idiot. He's going to run it too. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Feel good about yourself? What a jackass. And he just hit the truck in front of us. You got to be kidding me. You better not block this. Better figure your life out.
Yeah, they better figure their life out. We are making such good time, too, and now we're stuck in traffic. Well, it's still 10. We have it have until between 11 or uh, 3 and 4 or whatever for the drop-off. We'll see how it goes. At least this car's moving. They're not just stuck. They have their hazards on, but they're still whatever. What are you doing? Okay, good. Get the hell out of here. She was driving like an idiot, dude. Yeah, this is an in interesting intersection for sure. piece there all right we're on our way we're going straight we're not going around that whole mess right there thank god see ya Moo's on the right. Hey, Moo Moo's. Oh man, those are those Longhorns. That's cool, man. We got some horses over here on the right. White horse on my side. I called it before y'all did. All right, got through that hellish intersection. I can turn my blinker off. World flight will be in November. be doing training in July. Hey, Brain Gap. What's up, man? I know. I need to get a picture to you. Trust me, I know. When I get into the sim, I will. In the sim. When I get back into GTA, I will. I only got the pop in there for a minute today. Oh, you got it taken care of? Well, you probably did a better job than I would have done anyway. <laughs> it's been a hectic, uh, hectic last week and weekend with all the birthday celebrations going on with our friends. So I got behind on a lot of stuff. Oh, we're going to be stopping up here. on 82 I appreciate it man hey Mike what's up the uh, trips going good so far so far so good we had our first run we ran uh, Tucson to Dallas no issues Had an excellent run and this one's a it's a more time involved one we're fine on time kind of right now but the traffic's been real stupid lately um, and we're trying to get this one to, uh, I believe, Lubbock when we left Dallas. A 
We're on our way to Lubbock, I believe. What is this guy doing? He hit that stupid truck up there and they're having an issue. We're not playing this game. Idiots. Absolute idiots. Just wasting our time on this one. Of course, the one time I get one of these fast delivery... We, we've been dealing with traffic like you wouldn't believe. There it is in a stupid gridlock for no reason. All right. Oh yeah, we're having a good time driving today. Doing fleet driving, you know, automatic transmission, easy. Easy peasy. Look at that. That truck's actually letting us on the highway. Look at that. That's cool. Thank you. They don't normally do that. South Wichita River. Yeah, I don't know what that RV was doing. It was just kind of just chilling there, wasn't it? How in the maybe got hit. It was part of that problem. That's possible too. Rifts, you just got, you get used to it. It, it. You only go to a certain corner, but you train your eyes to look forward at the screen. It's it's something that you learn how to do. It's not, it's hard to explain until you do it. But you get used to it over time. Absolutely there, Mike. It's been a long road to get where I'm at. Piece by piece, but I, l I love this truck and rig setup now. Fifty-seven miles to Lubbock. Oh yeah, we're gonna be fine on time. Hopefully. Uh, Vabes, uh, this week for sure. Be back, Simon. Oh, these glass trucks always go so slow. Time to get around this guy on the hill. Oh, we'll get him on the hill here. The downhill part. outside of Lubbock now. I mean, the time is ticking away. It's going to be close. This traffic did us no favors on this run. That I can say. Mm. 
no, you don't turn your head near as much as the camera does. It's like, and you can adjust it. I sort of liked all the flights I was in. All the ones with uh, Mav and Shane and Hadley. Are we getting on the highway up here? Nope. Look straight through Lubbock and then going north to our destination. All right, cool. Good to know. Hey, what's up, Tanko? How you doing? Spent a lot of time in Lubbock. Nice. So you might uh, recognize some of these spots. We got Av Q here. We're getting off at the uh, next exit here. Here's downtown. Belly somewhere near us, and then uh, a little coffee place. Nice. So we're going north on uh, this highway right now. Don't do it. Thank you. Texas State Trooper right in front of us. Most of the California roads are in the sim. They've done they've done a lot of work to it. And welcome to Lubbock, Texas. Just entered the city limits. in Lubbock. Yeah, we were, that's that was definitely Lubbock we already saw there, so maybe that was exiting L Lubbock. I don't know what the sim was doing there. This is our destination. We're going to be early. We just don't have a lot of time to mess around with the drop since we were in that traffic. So we'll do everything we can here to get it in there. Highway 99's in here. I can show you all the highways later on when we look at the map. The next run.
Alright, we made it here. Now we just have to drop. Over on the right, it looks like. Right over here in the corner. Is it straight back? No way. No way it's a straight back. Oh, it is. It definitely is. Nice. Two and nine. We're an hour early. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Got that grain delivered to him. Nine hours, 18 minutes, 384 miles. We did 77 gallons of fuel. Let's see what we got here. So yeah, you can see here, here's all the highway system all through there, but well, we can look at it in a minute. Uh, let's see, they got some grain, empty pallets. You get out of here, we go into Arizona. I think we're going to do that. Empty pallets to Camp Verde. Yeah, we'll do that one next. And if we have a look at the map, I'll show you. Here it is. It's all the highways. You see, they got the five there, and they have 99 all the way through there. Fresno and all that. Pretty cool. Let's do it. Nice of them to give us a uh, on ramp here, so we can get on the road without being stuck on the tracks. Oh, nice! Hey, Adam, glad you're enjoying. Good to see you. We've got to stop for fuel. Stop here in Clovis for fuel. Looks like they got a uh, actual truck stop on the left side of the road. Let's do that.
And just like that, we're back into New Mexico. No, let's say the gas station is on the right side of the road. Just kidding. You're gonna force your way in there because they don't let you over, man. They surely, surely don't. Uh, if the train things come down, it, it basically creates that into a wall. It's not like a huge spectacle of getting hit by the train or anything. Clovis. So it's like the truck entrance right here. And that would be because it is. four-wheelers doing over here hey we got the truck tour go over to fuel island over there Fill it up. Man, I have so many 389s. It's gold. Is it real? Like, is it? That costs 1,044, 208 gallons. Yeesh. Back on the road we go. Great looking truck. Uh, I think we're going to Alamogordo. Is that what I said? We all just watched it. No, we're going to Camp Verde. Camp Verde. We got empty pallets, but I wanted to get out of Texas, and this is the best way to do it. Yeah, Sharky, no one gives a shit, man. Sorry to say it. No one cares. How dare you, Brain Gap? We only had the audio. There's a hotter burger. 
That hamburger actually sounds really good. That sounds real good. I love when the truck goes through the gears, the the seat raises up on the motion platform through the uh, through the torque. It's pretty cool. Oh, buddy, you are sticking out in the road, damn, dude. Uh, with atsaccessories.com, you can get any, uh, you can get a shifter for any, any of the ones that are out there on the market, including the Logitechs. Devious Mr. Matt, thank you very much for the continued support. Uh, hopefully you had a good weekend and your weekend's off, your week's off to a good start. Be sure to enjoy having you around. Man, look at that. Nice. Let's see what airplane that was. Hold on. They hit the damn thing doing this. Looks like a, uh, whoa, hello. I know that airplane. B1B Rockwell. Uh, it's the, it's not the B1B bomber. Get the name of that one. F111, that's what it was. Thank you, Jeremy. I was going nuts. Definitely is an F111. Oh, the force feedback on this TA18 is amazing, man. It's, it's the truest thing to a real wheel I've ever felt. Here we go, chicken picking, baby. Oh, we got a horse on the loose over here on the right. Holy moly, check him out. Run, buddy, run. Oh, another one running that way. Wild horses keep dragging me away. Roll this up. Yep, new steering wheel. What's well, a new wheel base? Is it still the uh, SCI wheel I have? Uh, Trooper Eurostar, I'm using the SIPS traffic density mod. CIPS. Yep, I am aware of modded ATS. He was here earlier in, in the chat. We're talking to him. Music is not from the game. No, this is a uh, this is my country playlist I have from Epidemic Sounds. I have a license to to run the music. Toy boy, what's up? How you doing? getting dangerous to read the chat on this section of road. I'm going to let me just concentrate until we get on a straighter road so I can see the chat. Oh, as we will probably crash. Really? You're trying to pass us, dude? You're not going to do it. You're an idiot. You're going to get killed. Yep, hit them brakes. Dummy. I wasn't even going slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Action star. Nice. Yep, using track hour to look around. Oh my god, I almost hit that pole when I was reading the chat. Yep, no patience whatsoever. How mod is this from vanilla? Heavily. Heavily modded. At the end, I can show you all my mods I'm using. End of the stream. shower traffic now from sips traffic density I love it stork bridge that's cool VR is a hell of a lot more expensive than Track IR 1, but 2. They're not even remotely comparable. I see the people that compare Track IR to VR, and I'm like, how? VR is a video. You're in the video game. You're in there. That's not just head tracking, you know? It's a nice little town. I have to agree. I've done a uh, train sim played uh train sim world but i don't i don't support anything that dovetail games does i got burned by the last uh dlc for that and i haven't gone back but i know there's trains or something like that with z the new version of that came out so i haven't checked that out yet but if i do I will, i'll be going to that rather than train sim world I told that uh, because I was doing a, I was doing a sponsor deal for Dovetail, and the way that they were behind the scenes, I told them I said I will never work with them ever again without a written apology before it. <laughs> I know that'll never happen, so. Hey. Let's get off my nose. That's for certain. Let's make a right turn up there. So we're gonna get in the right lane, actually. We're not getting on 40. It doesn't look. Oh, we are going to get on 40, but later on. This is an interesting looking uh, spot here. And there's another truck stop up on the hill there. My eyes. It's a good tune, Cloud Nine. Oh, oh, uh oh. I'm also excited for Blade's uh, CX11 to be released so we can have a proper. Uh, auto or car hauler truck that has the rack on the top that'd be really cool so i'll buy that as soon as i can Keep right and then turn right. so we're getting on the highway this way okay i see how it works There's no reason for VR and a head tracker to work together because VR already has head tracking built into the headset. I'm on cloud nine. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. Boom, man, boom. Let's get on for this red truck. Thank you, sir, for letting us on the highway. Even though you didn't want to, you just had to. We'll say thank you anyway. Uh, yeah, I've flipped trailers before. Usually, if I'm not paying attention, it's easy to do when you're reading chat, but 
I drive a hell of a lot better whenever I'm not live streaming for obvious reasons. Reading chat and driving with track IR on your head is one of the hardest things to do. Every time you see the camera go about there, I'm reading the chat. Yeah, Ron H's just really dated, man. It's a cool sim, but it's just too dated for me to play it, graphics-wise. Trooper Eurostar, I think with the 37 months, good to see you. we go west king gemini what's up how you doing I have a question mark up here on the right we should probably pick that up So we just got back on it. It's a rest area. I don't know. Farm sim just didn't peak, didn't hold my interest, man. I tried for a long time, but maybe I'll go back to it sometime. Who knows? AJ, what's up? How you doing? Evening to you. Would you ever another car mod run? Uh, I think you're asking I'll do more car mod showcases. Yeah, I will. Probably after I update everything to 147. I haven't done that yet. over to help people get on the highway and then I got stuck in the left Albuquerque 62 miles see a beautiful sunset here in front of us
A little sketchy spot there, wasn't it? California, take care. Thanks for hanging out with us for a while. We'll see you soon. Have a good week. Hey, Jay, what's up? Thank you for the 63 months. Hope you are well. Stay left. We're going through Albuquerque, New Mexico right now. Right here where Breaking Bad was filmed. day. Hey, Max BTW, what's going on? Leaving it two hours for a 16 hour road trip to Boston. Oh, man. Sounds like a long drive. driving so you can sleep oh that won't be so bad look at that fiero on the right that's cool Gallop. The best of the Fiero. 
didn't last long. Nope. Oh, man. Hey, Alex, what's up, man? I was racing. Ooh, big, big bomb bump us there. Yeah, I agree, Brain Gap. And the graphics, they've come come a long way. But I'm also using some, uh, a lot of graphics mods with the uh, Project Next Gen. Definitely has the charm of driving over the road, you know? Casinos there. Discovered. Look at that. I haven't through Gallop yet. I was avoiding these areas because I was getting game crashes, but I figured out why. I looked at the log and I saw there was a uh, material file that wasn't being loaded from a prefab, uh, and turns out it was just an outdated mod for the real advert or the real uh, companies. Off their words, Grind Press. feeling you had when watching ETS 2 streams and having ATS and knowing ATS was coming hearing uh, thinking how great this would be in the US well feel hap still happens when I watch or drive ATS yep it's pretty amazing we waited so long for this you know this to come out we finally got it it's in 2016 when it released hard to believe that Station. They bring us in. Are they going to be cool about it? Let's just get over because you know, you know it's inevitable. Yep, they're pulling us in. We've just been trucking. Haven't missed anything. Time 
Our vehicle's not in perfect technical state. It's probably just because it's like a few percent on the wheels. It's so annoying that it does that. History foot, good to see ya. Think of the eight months, six month streak. Brain grab, take take care, have a good night, man. Yeah, Jeremy, it's it's just it it's too it's too finicky. Like we haven't done anything rough with this truck and trailer from the start of the stream. Like nothing rough with it, and it's already not gonna pass inspection because you got you gotta stop and work on the wheels and it's always the, the wheels are the problem yeah the tread adds damage basically yeah I can't wait to see the new game engine it's gonna be awesome really hoping good things for it Holbrook. in there, isn't he? Inspectors want to get bribed. <laughs> All right, now we're clear of that guy. Australian flight simmer. What's going on? How you doing tonight? morning or wherever wherever it is over there bow, bow. it's like in the afternoon there isn't it isn't it so so we exit at flagstaff and then we go south no maybe not maybe 40 just curves that way Uh, these are the low beam lights in their rooms. High beams would be this. Korhoff, good to see you. Think of it the 27 months. been very bumpy it's gone noon okay so I'm, I'm not crazy Chad Oaks thank you for the cheer appreciate you rooms yes we we're talking about that 
Chokes you the, the, the high beams. This is a very bumpy road. Jeez Louise, dude. I'm feeling it like crazy on this road. It's throwing me around. I would love to see dynamic weather in this, including winds. Winds, something that uh, would be cool to be simulated. Blow you all over the road. Chagall Par Airport in Peru, nestled in the bottom of a very narrow valley. Around 4K above sea level, the mountains reaching almost 13,000 around it. Oh, nice. That's cool. We just stay on this road for now. Through Flagstaff. Then we'll have a exit for Camp Verde. Makes sense. Yeah, road gets bumpy, man. Yeah, that's why I was moving around. The roads were that bad. Pretty cool. This one? Turn right. Oh, it was the second one. It's the one towards Phoenix. Keep left. Yeah, now you say keep left. You should have said turn right, then keep left. That would have made more sense, right? You would think. David the day bed. What is going on? I am doing well. I realize the chair never stops moving. Camp Verde, 64 miles, everybody. Jeremy, thanks for hanging. We'll see you soon. Take care. Those signs lie to us. There are no deer. Your eagle think of the 12 months, an entire year. Holy moly, that guy is slamming the brakes on us there. Then we had uh, Mike 
in 747 with the 11 months. Always good to see you. 253 Raymond T. What's up, Raymond? Thank you for the 17 months. How you doing tonight? Happy Tuesday for you. 11 months, man. I appreciate that nine month streak you have going too. Middle Verde Road. It's Camp Verde, we're almost there. The Montezuma Castle National Monument up here. The radar cruise control works in 147. Nice. Yeah, I don't have 147 just yet. Yeah, I would like to see that too, B9 bot, where the truck gets dirty over time. That'd be really cool. Pre inspection with a walk around. Yeah. And sleep in the sleeper. I might actually use the the uh, fatigue simulation if they allowed us to sleep on the in the you know, the cabs that'd be pretty cool Costco with these pallets. Welcome to Camp Verde, everybody. Why are the hell? Took a long time to get to this level having a truck and set up like this, but it's so nice. I do love it. Oh, truck washes, they're in 147, you're saying? Come on back. to the left a little bit better here.
you know they don't let you bump the dock here sad it is what it is all right hey barmboski what's up man yep skits bump you better believe it there we go. Excellent. 667 miles, 13 hours, 56 minutes, 116.1 gallons consumed. And now I will show you the launch pad. I'll show you my mods. Starting at the top is all of the rolling mod stuff. So I got the red gauges, the rolling 389, interior effects, sound pack, rolling key, uh, all the stuff for rolling. Then uh, same thing with the big rig cannon, uh, cameras is the truck itself, convoy driver, rolling Mac. Uh, and then I have the start of Z mods. Uh, these are free ones. You got the GPS voice mod, road and wind noise sound mod, interior noise mod, train and crossing sound mod, air brake sound mod, reefer trailer sound add-on. Uh, internal interior effects sound pack. This is all Z-Mod stuff for the International Freightliner, Peterbilt, uh, Kenworth. The Creech Bomb sound patch for the International. The engine sound pack 4.2 by Creech Bomb that I was using there. That's what we heard today using the Detroit diesel. Uh, then the Mac and DTs. Cummins N14, Cummins X15, the 6.7 liter Ram sounds for the, uh, for the John Ruder Ram. Then there's the Cummins uh, Signature 600, the 30406 and the Cats here, all the way down to the C15, C16, 3, uh, 1, 3176A, 3408, Cummins Big Cam, then the Cummins ISX EGR, uh, Cummins ISX 15, then N14. These are all Z mods. Then Rudos Ram 3500 sounds, the Detroit Diesel sound pack by Z mods. Uh, and then I use Realistic Mirror FOV uh, for the current one then i've got project next gen pbr roads weather textures base textures improved guardrails icons sound fixes pack then weather sound and effect mod real density uh traffic density by sip there uh real ai traffic f mod sounds then i have the municipal police traffic pack extended traffic light timing ai traffic pack by jazzy cat these are out of date because i'm on 146 then we have the uh the painted truck traffic, classic AI traffic, truck traffic, then uh, realistic truck physics mod by FRK N64, Ford Transit realistic uh, deliveries companies pack, real companies and uh, trailers pack version 2.5, off of crimes mods, wordpress.com, real advertisements, then I have MFG frameless dump trailer by Z, then we got the Aero 2 for trucks off the Steam Workshop, SES utility 3000, 4000 trailer skin pack for the Unables. Uh, that's the GP Transportation Company skin pack we use today. Then we have the online transport stuff. Uh, Covenant, then Schneider, uh, CFI, Welker Farms for the Overfloater International 9900 CFI skins. Uh, then I have the Dom 379 skin pack. Real Tires Mod Trailers Edition. I see our Smarties Wheel Pack. Then I have uh, Dom's Box Trailer. Then all of the uh, John Ruta trailers here. Then Ruta's Ram 3500 trailer. SCS Western Star 5700 XE custom dashboard. Real logos and emblem add-ons for the Dom's 379. Then real logos for John Ruta. Then engine sounds uh, for the deaf for the John Ruta stuff. New improved steering wheels. Then I have the Classic XL DLC steering wheels compatibility. These are all compatibilities for that, for all the John Ruta stuff. Then the accessories compatibilities. Stickers for your cabin and refrigerator, SISL Mega Pack. Uh, then we have all this stuff for the John Ruta 389, Classic XL, uh, the Freightliner FLD from uh, the Steam Workshop, then the 90s Corporation Truck Mod. Then we have the Ruta's Ram 3500, Classic XL, International 9900, I9300, then the Dodge Challenger. Uh, that's that Hellcat we drove that one time. Kenworth 900 Long. Then I got the uh, Dom's 379. Volvo VNL 2018 by Aerodeth. And we have the Kenworth W900A by CTTM. Classic XL. Obviously, these are all the keys for all that stuff. Trucks and trailers and wheels. And then trucks and trailers flare pack. That's everything we got right there. In that exact order. 
So quite a bit. I wasn't lying. I'm going to send you all over to Paul. He's playing some OCRP. Show him some love. And thank you all for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. We had a hell of a time tonight. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Enjoy some OCRP with Paul. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.